connection is being made tonight between breast cancer and bacteria. And CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez has the details. In what stage are... Felicia Harden Bradford never thought she'd get breast cancer because she didn't have a family history. No one could explain to me why I was getting cancer if... It, I, if genetically, you know, I wasn't set up. The same goes for Lisa Moeller. No family history and no so-called breast cancer genes. BRCA1 or 2. They had genetic testing and I was felt I was negative for all the genetic testing. Now a new study in the journal Oncotarget may give a hint as to why some seemingly healthy normal women get breast cancer. This is a pilot study, in fact, that looked at breast cancers and non-cancerous breast tissues. And lo and behold, there were some bacteria that were overrepresented in breast cancers compared to non-cancer breast tissues and vice versa. When gut bacteria called the microbiome get out of balance, it becomes easier for disease to grow. For the study, researchers compared the tissue of 78 breast cancer patients against breast tissue from healthy women. Healthy, non-cancerous breast tissue had more of a certain type of bacteria, but the cancerous tissues had other types of bacteria that were elevated. The dream would be to develop a treatment like a probiotic less toxic than chemotherapy. Imagine if we could just give something that targets the cancer, whether it may be breast or otherwise. Because testing for breast bacteria is not at a point where that can be translated into a diagnostic test or treatment, it's still important for all women to get regular mammograms, even if you don't have a family history of breast cancer or any of the breast cancer genes. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News. Dr. Max reminds us that the vast majority of breast cancers occur in women with no family history of the disease.